Hey, Caesar, you fat faggot. You always wear gum on your nose? <laughs> St. Mary's Ferry. Come here, kid. I want to tell you a secret. Hey, let him go, Rooney, and I'll give you a banana, huh? Hey, shut up, faggot. Hey, Danny, I want you to meet the St. Mary's Ferry. Hey, what do you think? She's cute, ain't she? Let him go. Hey, I think she likes you, man. I said let him go. All right, Rooney, no doggy biscuits. Look, kid, you keep hanging out with that faggot, and you're going to start thinking I'm pretty. Listen, why do you let him call you a faggot? Let me tell you something about Rooney. He's just projecting his doubts about his own sexuality. It's typical. Hey, look, man, I really appreciate the way you held out for me like that. I never expected you to take so much. Man, all I remember was that look on Constance's face when you jumped me. Hey, so listen, Don. After all this, you won't have to hang out with that faggot Caesar anymore. I mean, you can hang out with the regular guys. You know what I mean? Drop dead. Really? Really. It's also common among schizophrenics and fools. Well, speaking of fools, what are you doing here? Shut up, fathead. I'm here to see Don. Shh. What's the matter? Faddies took me off track and fuel. Why? You heard me call Constance a goddamn faggot when we were kneeling in his office. I don't know how he did it, but he heard me. He's omniscient. Yeah, his mother's probably one, too. Anyway, he says I'm off track and field until I go apologize to Constance. So go apologize. Oh, sure. Go tell Constance I'm sorry he called him a goddamn faggot. I'm gonna study. Yeah, you think that's funny? Caesar, why don't you work with me? Caesar doesn't work with morons. No, hey, Don, forget it. I don't need any help, especially from a faggot like him. Hey, Caesar, don't say nothing, man. I don't want nobody to know I'm here. They might get the wrong idea. Hey, listen, I think Don's right. I think you should help me. Hey, I'm not saying we have to be friends or anything. Strictly business, no strings attached. Hey, maybe I could do something for you, too. Anything. I just can't afford to get let back anymore. I already got hair on my balls, Caesar. So what do you say, huh? You gonna help me or what? Come on, please. Hey, you can still be a faggot as far as I'm concerned. Please, Caesar, huh? All right, all right, you are forgiven. Do you have any other good stuff? Impure thoughts, desires, fantasies? No, father. What? What kind of a faggot are you, anyway? Dominus Vobiscum, shithead. Hey, I'm telling you guys, slow dancing. Fast dancing's for faggots, man. Girls fast dance with their sisters. Where, where's Kathleen and Caesar? Oh, don't worry about those faggots. They can take care of themselves. <laughs> where's Rooney? I don't know, brother. Where's Dunn? Don't worry, those faggots are never gonna know we're missing. What does that faggot Constance have us using these things for? Because he is a sick man. Well, he is sick if he thinks I'm going to do this every Sunday. I got better things to do on my Sundays. Yeah, like taking a drive in the Gowanus Canal. <laughs> Make yourselves comfortable, gentlemen. Is he gone? I think that faggot figured out who did it. Oh, what gives you that idea? Oh, what are you going to tell him? <laughs> yeah! And it's one for the money, two for the show. In 1966, everybody graduated from St. Basil's, except me. Caesar went on to graduate with honors from Queens College and became a pedometrist or a psychiatrist or some fag job like that. Williams got a job as a projectionist at the Peekaboo Theater in Times Square. Corbett married Janine. Imagine a turd like him. They have six kids. I heard Dunn and Danny ran into each other at Woodstock at Max What's-His-Face's farm, where half a million faggots stood in the rain for three days with no clothes on. <laughs>